responsible for during the shift. Um, so the customer being kind of courteous, um, or just to the task that you need to be to be an employee. Uh, we don't work in commission, uh, but strongly believe that customers will come back if they have a great shopping experience at the store. And um, you're not working there unless there's some kind of obstacle that you need to overcome, like you know the internet's down, um, our system doesn't work, um, our ordering system is being faulty, saying that the product is here, but it's not really here, and it's never here. Um, <laughs> um, point one, serve the customer. Um, there are many times where I found myself in a position where I'm trying to order a DVD that no one's ever heard of, and um, it's nearly, nearly impossible to find. Um, but um, after painstakingly searching everywhere for it, um, because they need it today for some reason, uh, at like 8 o'clock at night. Um, <laughs> I find it in a store somewhere in like New Jersey, New York. And the first response from a, um, a customer is, hey, can you go drive there to get it for me? Which I say no, because the customer is not always right. Um, but I do have a manager to go drive and pick it up, because most of our managers live in Jersey for some reason. Or I do the store store transfer and try to talk them out of their ridiculous demands of trying to have it right at that moment. Or sometimes I just tell them to go to the FYE across the street because we have a terrible selection of movies. Um, yeah, we try to do whatever we can um, to obtain whatever they need. Um, five, ten minutes later, um, sometimes they give up uh, or they have a question. I always ask, answer all their questions. Um, Uh, point number two, um, expect the unexpected. Um, on a typical day, I'm answering a phone call, but at the same time, I'm talking to someone in the store while grabbing their item, while grabbing something from the printer, um, talking to someone on the floor to grab something for the person on the phone, fixing an issue, answering a question, explaining something. Um, it can be overwhelming, uh, but it's all about multitasking and thinking on your feet. Um, when I answer a call, I always expect uh, some horrible issue, like um, my refrigerator is running, I can't stop, uh, the gas is leaking, should I turn it off? Uh, my kids sat on my iPod, um, my laptop never <laughs> arrived, I'm going to sue you because you know, the post office is not doing their job. Um, or my personal favorite, um, what do you mean I can't return my four-year-old TV? Um, I try to come up with the solution as best as possible, um, but sometimes, you know, that's not always the case. Like, um, I had someone call uh, because it took s seven extra days for us to deliver her laptop, but keep in mind, you know, we use FedEx. So it's not really a problem, but anyway. Um, so I was like, well, ma'am, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Is there something I could, you know, help? Or, you know, what do you need from me? And she's like, well, I bought tech support. I'm like, that's cool. Do you want me to explain it to you? No, no, that's not what I need. And uh, she went on to explain to me the, um, that she wanted to be reimbursed for the seven days that um, she could not use her tech support. Um, but <laughs> that is definitely the unexpected because you can't really answer that. Um, so, and then the next point is um, be kind and courteous. Always be the bigger person. Uh, even though it's very hard to be, especially when they're very rude, which is most of the time, no offense. Um, <laughs> always welcome them and thank them. I cannot tell you how many times I've said sorry to one person at a time. It's, it's horrible. Um, and act, act like you care. I mean, I try to care. Uh, I think I'm the nicest person that works at that store. But, um, yeah. <laughs> um, I had a quote somewhere. somewhere. All right, this is where it gets kind of commercialized. Um, there's a quote from Ryan Dunn, who I think used to be the CEO, but this was in 2009, so I don't really know. Um, if you're in technology, 
if, if you're in the technology business, we're going to have to learn to deal with constant conflict, which is so true, you have no idea. Um, Best Buy has 155,000 people working, um, and then 20,000 people in Geek Squad in the field every day. That's awesome. Um, that was it. That's more organized than that. Oh, a typical day at work. There's a in the back here. Um, it's never clean. It's always dusty. I guess it's because there's computers everywhere. Um, people are running around frantically um, saying, I need this, I need that. Someone's on the phone, they need that, but I can't do that without this. Um, I like to say that everyone works together, but um, you're really you're on your own until someone needs something from you. Um, uh, but in the end, we try to be there for the customer, even though we only care about numbers. Um, I think that's it. It's a terrible conclusion, but yeah. <laughs>